wondering what we're doing in a sports hall. I haven't been in one of these for a while. And why our journalist, Chris Craddock, is doing some very dangerous looking moves. Chris, what are we doing down here today? Well, we're here at Redlands Community Sports Centre to play some touch rugby, Abby. Fantastic. Now, as you might be able to tell, Chris and I have already been roped into a quick game. We're both a little bit sweaty, um, but the serious stuff is yet to come. So, Chris, how did you hear about touch rugby here? Well, it just spread word of mouth, really. We heard about it through an email that got sent into our news team. And then after that, I thought it's a great idea. I'm a big rugby fan. I know you are too. Autumn Internationals had really got me excited. There's the World Cup next year. And it's just a great way to get back into rugby or to get into rugby. Well, I can't argue with that. So this is it, me and Chris getting into rugby. But more than that, we're going to take on each other. It's versus, isn't it, Chris? Yeah, you're going to be on one team, I'm going to be on the other. And I'm going to do news proud and I'm going to beat the bon run today. I'm pretty sure that's not going to happen. We're both fiercely competitive, but I don't need to boast about how great I am. So let's go play some rugby. <laughs> I played rugby a while ago, but you guys are actually a lot better than me. Uh, is this really good for you to get that good at rugby? Yes. And do you think you'll keep doing this? Yeah. yeah. And will you come back next week? Definitely. Yeah. And um, we're, all, we're all nice and hot and sweaty, as you might be able to tell from the camera. Have you had like a really good workout today? Do you feel energised from what we've been yeah. doing? Yeah, because yeah, yeah. we played against the adults. Are you better than the adults? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You are, you are. We, we can tell from the footage that you are a lot better than the adults. Um, so, going forward, do you want to actually now play proper rugby? You, you think you might go into touch, into proper contact rugby after this? Yeah, next year I'm in my real rugby at Weymouth Rugby Club, I'm going to do in contact. You're looking forward to that? Yeah. And we've just finished a fantastic evening of touch rugby, nice, hot and sweaty, and now we get to find out who's better at rugby. Myself, cool, calm, collected Chris, or reckless Abby over there? I'm just going to take it off of Chris for a second because we've got someone very special with us to make that decision. We've got Susie who's been really involved with the O2 Touch Rugby programme here. Susie, how's it been going? Absolutely superb. We're really impressed with all the numbers that we've been getting. New players every single week. It's about families, it's about kids, it's about getting fit, it's about everybody playing together and having fun. And the numbers that we're starting to see coming through the doors is just absolutely superb. Well, we've seen that for ourselves this evening. It's been fantastic and I am knackered. I think I outran some children, but I'm not entirely sure. I wouldn't hold myself to that. No, I probably didn't. Right. So, Susie, maybe I should hand the microphone to you for your uh, decision. <laughs> I'm afraid, though, the decision can't be made because this sport's all about teamwork and having fun. I went, so there's no way that either one of you can have won, I'm afraid. What happened to girl power? No. Spice girls in the 90s. Did you enjoy it? We did, um, we had a great time. Massively. Yeah. Would you come again? Oh, definitely. Yeah. That's yeah, what I'm it's all about. I recommend it to everyone out there who enjoys it. Come and give it a try. I've got to take the microphone off, Susie, because I've got a feeling something's about to happen. <laughs> <laughs> did you notice that Chris completely missed that? <laughs>